Welcome to Nest. We're going to show you how to install and set up your Nest Thermostat E. Everything you need is in the box. The installation guide, screws, and a trim kit to cover any holes in the wall. Installation is simple. You'll remove your old thermostat, install the Nest base, connect some wires, then attach the display. Let's get started. Go to your home's breaker box and turn off the switch that controls power to your heating and cooling system. This will protect it during installation. If you need to, you can also turn off the main power switch at the breaker box. Make sure you've turned the right breaker off by changing the temperature with your current thermostat. Wait a few minutes to make sure your system doesn't turn on. Next, take off the front of your thermostat. Many simply pop off, while others have screws you'll need to take out. Check if your thermostat is connected to thick wires with wire nuts, or labeled 110, 120, or 240 volts. If it is, you have a high voltage system, which is not compatible with Nest thermostats. Don't connect a Nest thermostat to these high voltage wires. Take a picture of the wires with your phone. You'll use the picture to help with the next step. If you haven't already checked that your system will work with the Nest Thermostat E, go to our online compatibility checker. You'll also get a personalized wiring guide that you'll need for installation. Once you have your wiring diagram, remove any jumper wires. If there's a short jumper wire connecting one wire to another, take it out, you won't need it. Because every heating and cooling system is different, it's important to label the wires. Stick the labels onto your thermostat wires. Use the wiring diagram that you got from Nest as a guide. When you're done, you can disconnect the wires. Most thermostats have screws that hold them in. Others may have buttons that you press to release the wire. When all the wires are out, carefully remove the backplate, making sure none of the wire labels fall off. If there are any holes or unpainted areas on the wall, this is a great time to patch, spackle, and paint. Or you can use the optional trim plate to cover up any holes. If you're installing your Nest Thermostat E on an electrical box, you can get the steel plate that you'll need for installation at store.nest.com. Install the steel plate, then install the trim plate over it. Now it's time to install the Nest base. Gently pull the wires through the base. Put one screw in the top hole. The Nest screws are self-tapping and will go into drywall and other soft materials without drilling. For hard materials, you can pre-drill a hole with a 3 seconds or 2 mm drill bit. Use the built-in level to make sure the base is straight. Then screw in the screws until they're just snug enough to hold the base. Tightening the screws too much can damage the sensors and connectors in the base. Now you'll connect the wires. Check the ends of your thermostat wires. They should be straight. If not, restrip them and trim the ends, leaving 3 8 of an inch or 10 millimeters of wire exposed. Use the wiring diagram that you got from Nest as a guide to insert the wires. To insert a wire, hold down the connector button and push the wire all the way in. Make sure the connector button stays down after you've inserted each wire. Otherwise, your thermostat may not get enough power and you won't be able to finish setup. Only put one wire into each connector and don't connect any wires to your Nest thermostat that weren't connected to your old thermostat. Push in the wires so they're flush with the wall. This will help the Nest display connect to the base. Hold the display so the Nest logo is at the bottom. Push it onto the base until it clicks. Now go back to the circuit breaker and turn the power back on. Your Nest Thermostat E will start up and guide you through setup. It should only take a couple of minutes. Here's a preview. You'll pick a language, connect it to Wi-Fi and the internet, tell it a few basics about your home, and tell it about your heating and cooling system so it can help save energy. Then you'll test. Your thermostat will also show you which wires it's detected. Pull off the display to check they match. If not, check that you've inserted the wires into the right connectors and the connector buttons are down. If the wires match, select Continue. Next, you'll tell your thermostat a few more things about your heating and cooling system and your home. On this screen, you'll choose temperatures that your thermostat will use while you're away. If you see a leaf, you've selected a temperature that can help you save energy. Be sure to pick temperatures that will also keep your pets and plants comfortable. Then you'll run a quick test to make sure everything's working right. When you're done testing, the thermostat will show you a key code that you'll use to connect it to the Nest app. If you're new to Nest, go to the Apple App Store or Google Play to download the app. 
launch the app to create an account. Once you're signed into your account, tap Add. Then tap Continue Without Scanning and select Nest Thermostat E. If you already have a Nest product in your account, go to the Settings menu to add your thermostat. Tap Add Product. Then tap Continue Without Scanning and select Nest Thermostat E. You can skip the next couple of screens since you've already installed your thermostat. When you get here, enter the key code that your thermostat is showing you. This will connect your thermostat to the app. If your thermostat screen is off, press the ring to wake it up. Next, you'll choose a temperature schedule. With auto schedule, your thermostat will take a few days to learn what temperatures you like. With basic schedule, your thermostat can start using a schedule right away. The basic schedule uses a national average that balances energy savings and comfort. Now that you're done with setup, you can control your thermostat with the app. Tap on it to adjust the temperature, change settings, and more. That's it. To learn more about the Nest Thermostat E and how to use it, go to our support site.